Before you install Dynamic Environment Manager, you must set up a couple of central file shares on a file share server. The first share to set up is the Dynamic Environment Manager configuration share. It contains all the policy configuration files for allowing personalization and for managing the configuration of physical and virtual windows, machines, and applications. To start, the file share should have at least one GB of disk space. On a file server, create a folder for the share. For this example, the folder is named DEM config. To configure sharing, right-click the folder and select Properties. On the Sharing tab, select Advanced Sharing and Enable Sharing. Click Permissions and select the Change checkbox for everyone. This will include user accounts and computer accounts. To configure NTFS security permissions, click the Security tab and click Advanced. Click Add and then click Add a Principal. Enter the group name for the administrators. For this example, the group is Desktop Admins and click Check Names. In the Basic Permissions list, select Full Control and verify that these permissions are applied to this folder, subfolders, and files. Click Add and select a principal again and enter the name for end users. For this example, the group is End User Group 1. In the Basic Permissions list, select Read and Execute Permissions and verify that these permissions are applied to this folder, subfolders, and files. To configure computer-based settings, click Add and select a principal again and enter the name for computer accounts. For this example, the group is End User Computers. Or, instead of selecting separate groups for end users and computers, you could enter the built-in group Authenticated Users, which includes both. In the Basic Permissions list, select Read and Execute Permissions and verify that these permissions are applied to this folder, subfolders, and files. Right now, this folder is empty, but after you install Dynamic Environment Manager and start the Management Console, some folders and files will be created here that define the settings you want to use. The Dynamic Environment Manager agent that runs on the virtual desktop or RDSH server will read this configuration data from the file share, either when the user logs in or out of the machine or when the user opens or closes particular applications, depending on how things are configured. For computer-based settings, the settings are applied when the machine starts up.